just ahead of Travis Green as we try to make a connection uh, with him. It is Tuesday, and all of our uh, Tuesday guests are brought to you by Parker Marine. Make your boating experience the best it can be. For more information, visit parkermarine.ca. should mention uh, that Donnie and Dolly is a presentation. Our title sponsor is Able Auctions. If you have assets, inventory, or equipment that you need to sell, email sales at ableauctions.ca. C.A. is Jeremy Dodd and company hop on board with us again. And we can't thank uh, Jeremy and the folks at Able Auctions uh, enough. And they uh, they uh, are so involved in, in the community. They oh, helped time. out our uh, so Minor to... Hockey Association in uh, Port Mooney not that long ago. And just uh, great community people. Again, our thanks to Able Auctions. Have we got Travis? Yeah. We've okay. got Travis. Okay. Entering his fifth season as Canucks uh, head coach. Uh, the Canucks begin their uh, training camp uh, September 23rd at Abbotsford. We're talking about the head coach of the Vancouver Canucks, Travis Green. Thanks for joining us, Travis. How are you, sir? We got Travis. Me, uh, right? Almost training camp. You, you guys go. are a little late on your call. Yeah. You guys are a little late on your call. You'd be benched by now. <laughs> that's that's Taylor. He's never on time. He's always screwing things up. We're doing yeah, a, a, that's right. one of those Travis Green conditioning uh, skates. Hey, when it comes to the conditioning skates, I'm not going to call them bag skates. Let's call them, be a little more politically correct and call it a conditioning skate. Yep. Travis, why are, are, are those, and a lot of people think it's old school thinking. Why are those important to you? Uh, you know, I think it's a little bit um been blown out of proportion a little bit we've uh, a lot of teams do a lot of different testing um i i prefer to have an on ice test um mm -hmm. just personally i like to see where the guys are at as far as their skating their conditioning uh, not just in the gym not just uh, on the bike and um you know we want a team that's ready to go they're in shape uh not a believer in getting yourself into shape as, as camp goes on we want guys to come in and they're and they're already ready. So, uh, you know, we run a rather hard, I would say a harder camp, especially for the first three days. Uh, we kind of want to fast track our group, but uh, uh, we just feel that that's, that's been the best fit for our group since, uh, since we've come in. Ekman Larson, uh, Dickinson, Garland, where's your excitement level at when it comes to the additions Jim Benning has made to your team? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, it's hard not to get excited when you start talking about names like that that we've added to our group. Uh, you know, and then there's a lot of depth players that we added as well. Uh, there's going to be some strong competition at camp, which as a coach, that's what you want. Uh, we've talked about making improvements every year we've been here. Obviously, last year wasn't a good season. Uh, and we're going to, you know, I think with the additions we've made this year and our young players continuing to improve, we'll get back uh, to taking another step ahead. We mentioned Oliver Ekman Larson, Travis. What do you expect from him? Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about this trade, and uh, I'm a big believer in not putting uh, too much pressure on a player and just let his play do his talk. Uh, but with Oliver, it's you know you're talking about a guy that's had elite seasons in the NHL. Things haven't gone the way he's wanted the last few years, and and. I expect a big bounce back season for him. Um, expect him to play well, both ends of the rink. Uh, he's been a captain, so his leadership will also be a big part of our group as well. And I know he's excited to be here, and we're we're equally as excited to have him on the team now. Uh, Travis, you got uh, two pretty big names. Two of your best players not signed: Pedersen and Hughes. Are you worried? I mean, if you ask me if I'd rather them be signed now or not, of course I'd rather them be signed. But uh, I'm not worried. I think it's just part of the process when you're dealing with young players uh, that are making a big jump in their salary. Uh, you know, it's part of the business that, as a coach, you, you just kind of live with. Uh, I think both parties are aware of how important it is for the players to be done before camp, and I'm confident that it will be. Can you talk a little bit about... Uh uh, Vasily Podkolson, he arrived in Vancouver just a couple of days ago. What are you expecting from this kid, Travis? Yeah, actually, I just uh, saw him for the first time in person, so it was nice to meet him, nice to talk to him. He's got a lot of energy. You can tell right away that he's excited to be here. And again, he's another a guy that's joining our group that we're excited about. It's hard not to be. It's, he's been drafted uh, for a couple of years now, and we've been waiting to get him over here. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about him. 
uh, still haven't seen him on the ice live and in person. So uh, as a coach, you're always kind of excited about that first day that you see a player. Um, and as far as where he fits, we'll just take it day by day. I don't, I don't want to say that he's going to play in a certain spot before I see him. Uh, we have high hopes that he's going to be able to handle a lot this year. And yet we're also got to bring him along the right way and make sure that uh, we're still developing him into the player that he's going to be. He's a winger, and another uh, Canuck winger, mm -hmm. ex-Canuck winger, has signed over in Russia. We're talking about Jake Vertan and uh, Travis. Just uh, your reaction to Jake continuing his career overseas. Yeah, I, I didn't know that he had signed in Russia. Um, you know, I've worked with Jake a long time, and, uh, you know, I, I want nothing but the best for him and wish nothing but the best for him. And, and if that's where he plays this year, I hope he has a good season over there. Where, where does he have to get better? Yeah, I mean, Jake had some good seasons for us. It just didn't work out here, and unfortunately, and um, you know, it's not up to me now to to decide where he has to get better or what parts of his game he has to improve on. He's he understands his game, and he'll I'm sure he'll do fine and wherever he goes. Travis, you worked in in Utica Canucks Farm Club now in, in Abbotsford. How much is that going to help you having your farm team, your AHL farm team, that <clears> close? <throat> Yeah, it's going to be uh, on several different levels. I think it's going to be good for the organization. Uh, you know, obviously them being there, we'll we'll be able to watch the players uh, firsthand. Uh, traveling wise, we won't be able to. It won't be as hard to get a player here. It'll be a simple phone call. Um, I think. Also, when you talk about the fans and and the people in Vancouver, uh, they'll be able to watch our young players which is exciting for them, I'm sure, with the passion that we have in our city. And there's a lot of benefits and bonuses of having the team over there. Travis, uh, when you look at your roster, the way it is compiled right now, is this a playoff team in your eyes? I do. I, I, I think that we're a team that's going to make a big push this year. Uh, you know, our expectations will be to get back to the playoffs. Now, it's easy to say that. There's a lot of teams that are going to say the same thing for us in, in uh, our division and our side of the conference. And a lot of things have to happen before you get there. But that's going to be our goal. And, and starting from day one, that's what we'll be aiming at. And, uh, you know, there's a process that goes into it as well. It's there, There's going to be a lot of teams, again, that want to make and expect to make it. And uh, we're definitely one of them. Hey, Canucks still make the playoffs last year, mm -hmm. but there's a very good chance that several Canucks are going to go over to the Olympics, Travis. Are you okay with that? Yeah, it's exciting for them. Uh, as far as okay, I mean, uh, anytime you can represent your country and, and play in the Olympics, it's a, I can only imagine the honor, and I'm sure uh, anyone that gets to go from our team is going to be uh, even more excited, but uh, I'll be happy for them. <clears throat> you okay with Dolly Wall getting back to work after five weeks off? Oh man, I can only imagine. He's he's got to be well rested. I'm sure he's just been golfing, and who knows what else he's been doing. Yeah, sort of <laughs> like you've been doing golfing every day. Same thing over here, pal. <laughs> hey, wait, one, yeah. one, one, one more, Travis, before we let you go. Um, <clears throat> is it okay uh, to wear? And where do you stand on wearing jeans to a wedding? Wow, I'm throwing a fastball at you. Taylor wore Jesus, jeans on Saturday to a happy. wedding, Travis. Yeah, I think that would probably be definitely a team fine. Might even be a suspension. <laughs> yeah, a conditioning skate. Travis, <laughs> thanks so much for this. Appreciate it. All the best. You know everybody okay, here is pulling for you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks you for bet. having me.